Hello and welcome back to the FSX Tout Swing Wing Show. By swing wing, I mean variable geometry or the wings that sweep either forward or backwards. Today we'll be reviewing the Sukhoi SU24 Fencer B. Our flight test will be conducted at Domodeovo in Moscow, Russia. So yeah, let's fly. Alright, here we are in the cockpit of the SU-24 and let's take a look around. Uh, first things first, let's zoom out a bit. Yeah. Okay, so this aircraft has a side-by-side -side configuration. We have a drag shoot button and none of these gauges appear to work. They are all UV mapped. Okay, the throttle is working. Flight stick works. Alright, that was quick. Let's check out our shift panels. Shift 1. Alright, that's our shift 1 panel. This is going to be the 2D cockpit. Very nice. Shift 2, GPS. Shift 3, autopilot. Lovely. I love this autopilot. Shift 4, what looks like the electrical system. Shift 5, whatever that is. Shift 6. Okay, the shift 6 is the upper, upper FE panel. Alright. Let's go through cockpit functionality real quick. Uh, accuracy, I give it a 4. Working gauges, 0. Autopilot, 10. 2D cockpit, 10. Now let's check out the external model of the SU-24. Alright. Now this is a beautiful jet. Yeah, very nice. Not as grungy as I would have liked it to be, but it's nice. Okay, we have some vertical stabilizers on the underside, but they're not like the MiG-23 on the MiG-17 uh, or the other MiG with the thing that folds down. Alright, let's check out our flight controls. Up, down, left, right. Okay, nothing comes out from the wing. Speed brakes. Okay. So we have some pectoral fin speed brakes. Let's turn that down. That's killing my ears. Alright, and the wing sweep. Oh my goodness, that is glitchy AF alright uh, model accuracy real quick accurate control surfaces 10 accurate animation 8 realistic texture 8 wait no not 8 I gave it a 7 because usually 10 is when you have grunge, 9 and 8 that's when you at least have some gloss but this doesn't have any gloss. I mean the model looks nice, it's impressive but there's no gloss, there's no grunge, there's no light reflections anywhere. Alright, uh, let's get ourselves configured for takeoff, close up flaps. Flaps 1, nope, flaps 2, nope, flaps 3, okay, flaps 3 for takeoff. Okay, there is no afterburner effect, let's confirm that. Landing lights, nope. Alright. Alright, and again, this aircraft does not have any external views. You see that? The wing lifts up before 
the rest of the aircraft so there's no true rotation there are two other aircraft that fly similarly honestly it's very distracting eee, oh no this is this is full back guys I have bad news for this for this aircraft okay well maybe it was just misbehaving because the flaps were down Let's close the wings up so, a bit. Alright, a bit more respectable. But since this is this has this aircraft has um side by side seating, I think this is a bomber of sorts. Like a high speed jet bomber. It looks nice though, I like the flat bottom of it. Really nice. Nice and unassuming. As we're in the air, ATC availability, two in Moscow center, class B transition. Boom, that's our thumbnail right there. Alright, we said experimental is type experimental. So, zero points for manufacturer callout and one point for the is type. Acknowledge squawk. Alright, I've cleared it through the brothel. Bring the throttles all the way back. Um, acknowledge. No, go away. Oh my goodness. Alright, yeah, sure, 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 sure. I'll acknowledge, but I wouldn't contact anyone. Nice. Ooh. Beautiful. Boom, that's our thumbnail. That's our thumbnail. Yes. Alright, this is our thumbnail. See, this jet looks very cartoonish, but like in a good way. And the physical model of the jet is attractive too. Well, at least to me. You have this weird angle for the nose. The bottom scoops up higher than the top slopes down. So this is like a boat hull. It's very nice. It doesn't fly well per se. How fast are we even going? Yeah, 300. 310 knots. We're gonna land there. No, this sucks. This cockpit sucks. Oh, okay, so some of the gauges do work. They're just hella blurry. So if I give working gauges zero, I would have to give it a four yeah working gauges get a four all right when we land we'll do checklist and references and then we'll do UI usability as per the norm. We okay, we're going at around like 108 knots now. Oh, not even close. Off by a, almost 100 knots. Okay, we're full flaps out. Speed brake is out. Bring the speed brake back in. And 
this full flaps thing is kind of detrimental to our flight. I mean, when you put on the full flaps, we are actually the aircraft pitches down, which is not good. Don't sink. Yeah, I'm. I'm giving Don't it like sink. full back. Don't sink. This can't be avoided. Don't sink. Okay, that was quite unfortunate. I almost want to do an to do another circuit to ensure that this aircraft really could be landed properly. Maybe they they have they have something to say about this in the um, checklist and references. Speaking of which, let's get that done now. All right. Checklist, no checklist, no references. Okay, that's unfortunate. Zero points for checklist, zero points for references. Let's do our UI usability now. All right, here we are in the UI for the the airplane change thing. SU twenty four fencer. Let's get the score. Let's get the sheet up now. Uh, two points for something else. Sukhoi or Sukhoi. Suck this hoy. Alright. Two points for a manufacturer. Unknown. Zero points for a publisher. Uh, legacy. Yep. Legacy. Alright. Zero points for legacy. Zero points for aircraft type. Zero points for publisher too. I think I said that, but I, in my head I thought I said two points for a publisher, but it's actually zero points for publisher because they're. The publisher is not listed here. Alright, and... Alright. We have um, this. Oh, this jet is kind of slow. Oh, it's an old jet. That's why. Yeah, so... Two points for aircraft details. And here is the final score for the SU-24 Fencer B. That was my review of the SU-24 Fencer B by an unknown publisher. Tell me what you think about the video in the comments down below. Thanks for watching. Bye.